Have you ever heard of a certain game that had everything lined up to achieve great popularity in its genre, but unfortunately fell short because of several factors, some of which include a global pandemic? That game is called Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is an anime style fighting game that doesn't play like the standard 2D anime fighter. Instead, it offers a slower approach with emphasis on footsies and neutral play, which is why some call it Anime Street Fighter. Psy Games First Fighter went through a lot since its release, but now that the storm is over, it seems to finally be heading towards a much deserved resurgence. Here are the 10 reasons why you should check Grand Blue Fantasy Versus out in 2023. Visuals Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a game developed by Arc System Works, a Japanese company founded in 1988, best known for their amazing fighting games, especially when it comes down to graphics and animation. This game is no exception, and you can immediately notice Arx's signature touch at the first glance. I think everyone can agree that it is a beautiful looking game through and through. Presentation When it comes to presentation, the game has a clean UI that is consistent with its source material. It has simple menus, standard fighting game features, and the traditional Arxis style for online lobbies. It also has some interesting additions that at the time of release were fresh for a Japanese fighting game, such as the command list showcasing videos and explanations for every move, the in-game interface displaying the punish text, or the Steam version, on top of it being an excellent port, showing the input device that you're using. By the way, the soundtrack is godlike, all of it. You can check the video description for some examples. Resources. On the topic of learning resources available, Grand Blue uses the standard mission mode that other Arxis titles have. In this mode, you can find information about basic learning, character movesets, combo trials, and much more. There's also an excellent training mode. It has its own simplified style of frame data, displayed in a colored scheme to indicate when something is plus, minus, but safe, and definitely unsafe or punishable. The training mode benefits from the game's simple UI and has multiple useful settings, including the option to seamlessly change music tracks without a loading screen. Back into the menus, you have the gallery section where you can find a detailed glossary that includes a lot of knowledge regarding Grand Blue lore and fighting games in general. Of course, outside of the games, there is also a very loyal community that is always willing to help new players. Further links in the video description. Accessibility Fighting games have been going the way of simplification and accessibility for some years now, so it's no surprise that this game has also tried to absorb that philosophy into its design. Grand Blue did an extraordinary job at easing new players in, while at the same time not being too intrusive for people that prefer a more classic approach to fighting games. Auto combos do exist, but only as combo filler normals. The rest of the combo is on you. Special and Super moves have both simple and technical commands available at all times in a match. Simple inputs are uniform across the board and have some drawbacks, but they're not impossible to work with. On the other hand, technical inputs vary depending on the character and have their own advantages. Lastly, for those that don't want to hold back to block, there is a block button. It doesn't come without disadvantages though, as you're still susceptible to highs, lows, and throws all while not being able to move if you're holding the button. Character Variety and Balance Grand Blue Fantasy Versus has, for the most part, a really diverse roster, both in gameplay and aesthetically speaking. At the time of recording, it features 24 characters and most fighting game archetypes are represented. Whether you like Shotos, Zoners, Grapplers, Rekas, Rushdown, Huge Normals, Big Bodies, or Gorillas, we've got them all. When it comes to balance, the tiers are tightly close together and every character has a real chance of winning. Mechanics Grand Blue incorporates system mechanics and movements that are rather discreet compared to the average anime fighting game and fall more in line with other types of fighters. 
The attack button scheme is light, medium, heavy, and U for unique. There's also guard and skill buttons. Characters have a walk, backdash, run, jump, or super jump. No air dashing or double jumps in this. There is a cooldown system for special moves, and this is where the difference between simple and technical inputs can be felt the most. Simple inputs have a relatively minor cooldown between uses, while technical inputs don't. We've got several actions that help navigating through the opponent's offense or getting yours started. Air, unblockable, ground normals. Your meter gauge is used for supers and some of the tactics previously mentioned. The closest thing to resemble a comeback mechanic is an enhanced super obtained at 30% health and below. You'll still need to have full meter available though. Chip kills from specials exist, but only if the player had already been chipped down to one health beforehand. So, no checkmate chip setups. Gameplay and pace. This section just gives you an example of common interactions in a standard Grand Blue round. Average damage is fair and has to be earned. There's the mid-screen bread and butter combo damage. Then, there's corner and anti-air combo damage. Combos hit the sweet spot between being too short or too long. Not everyone is a fan of long cinematic supers every round. Luckily, most supers don't go into full animation if your opponent doesn't have enough health. Light normals from up close are usually plus. Hard knockdowns do exist. Characters will air tech automatically whenever possible. Why is Grand Blue Fantasy Versus a good game? Well, the answer is simple. Risk versus reward makes sense in this game. If you take too many risks or play sloppy, you will get punished hard. If you play solid and consistent, you will be rewarded significantly. All in all, one, it's easy to get started in Grand Blue. Whether you're new to the game or to the fighting genre, it's simple to catch up or keep it as a fun side game. Two, the better player will always win. Characters hardly carry anyone in here. Three, there are no real comeback mechanics, so robbery wins are less common. 4. Air unblockable normals means you must be patient and think twice before jumping in. 5. Even if execution is not the main focus, sharp reactions, clean spacing and immaculate defense will take you far. Single player content. Grand Blue has a story mode delivered in 2D side scroller RPG mode. It has normal stages and boss raid battles. After you beat it, Hard mode is unlocked with new challenges. There's also the option of online co-op play with a partner. Overall, the RPG mode is a unique take for single player content and has enough material to keep you engaged for a while. Some grinding is required if you want to unlock all the cosmetics, more on this later. There's also an arcade mode. It's rather basic, but it gets the job done. At the end, you unlock a special illustration of the character you used. Extras. We're reaching the end of the video. At this point, I'll just elaborate on the little details and fluff that some, myself included, might find charming enough to round up a good deal. Grand Blue features fully voiced dialogue in all modes for both English and Japanese. Lumio Order of Holy Knights in combat. What an honor. The honor is all mine. Facing the Lord of Albion in the door. There is no greater privilege. This also includes the dozens of specific intros and outros that every single character has with one another. There's an epic track that plays when you hit a super in the last round. <laughs> followed by a special win pose in case it kills. When it comes to cosmetics, other than the usual colors, you can also choose between seven different weapons per character. These are all unlockable for free in the RPG mode. So there you have it. Now that we've got fresh new content on the way, it is the perfect time to give Grand Blue Fantasy Versus another go. The game is cheap and it goes on sale way more than it used to. You won't regret it.
See you in the skies, and don't forget, always believe in victory.